Good morning everyone, this is Haralambos Pissoros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 22nd of uh, March. Today, market participants are likely to turn their attention to the RBNZ rate decision where the bank is expected to stand pat once again. At its latest gathering, the bank re retained its uh, easing bias despite improving domestic economic data. Policymakers indicated that uh, numerous uncertainties persist, uh, particularly in the global outlook, and that policy may need to adjust accordingly. As was explained by Governor Wheeler, this was a reference to the risks surrounding exports and the prospect of increased uh, global protectionism. These concerns may have been amplified further last week, given that the G20 finance leaders dropped their commitment to resist uh, trade protectionism. Importantly, the RBNZ also reiterated that a decline in the Kiwi's exchange rate uh, is needed, something that became reality following uh, the bank's uh, cautious signals. Since that gathering, economic data have been lackluster. Although the nation's uh, terms of trade improved in the fourth quarter, GDP growth slowed notably in the quarter, much more than uh, the RBNZ's uh, own forecasts. To make, matter worse, to make matters worse, economic growth for the third quarter was uh, revised lower. Bearing also in mind that uh, the aforementioned protectionism risks uh, remain elevated, we see the case for the RBRZ to retain its cautious stance and leave the door open for further easing. Something like that could bring the Kiwi under renewed selling interest. Kiwi dollar traded lower yesterday after it hit the downtrend line taken from the peak of the 7th of uh, February. However, the slide was stopped by the 0.7015 barrier. Bearing in mind that the pair is trading below the aforementioned downtrend line, we would consider the short-term outlook to be negative. A more cautious than previously RBNZ tonight could encourage the bears to push the rate below the 0.7015 level and perhaps set the stage for our next support of 0.6970. Such a break would also signal that the recovery started on the 14th of March was just a corrective phase. As for yesterday, UK inflation data showed that uh, consumer prices continued to accelerate at a rapid pace, with uh, both the headline and the core CPI rates uh, for February rising by much, by much more than anticipated. Specifically, the headline rate overshot uh, the Bank of England's 2% inflation target, while the core rate came in at exactly 2%. At the latest Bank of England gathering, some members noted that uh, they would consider reducing stimulus should there be any further upside news on the prospects of uh, growth or inflation, while Christine Forbes actually voted for an immediate hike. GBP USD searched uh, the release, possibly as market participants brought uh, forward their expectations with regards to a potential reduction in stimulus uh, by the Bank of England. The search uh, brought uh, the pair above the downside resistance line drawn from the high of the 2nd of February, which makes us uh, confident that the recovery from near the key territory of 121 may continue for a few more days. Now the rate is testing the 125 uh, level, but we prefer to wait for a break above 125.25 before we assume, uh, we assume the extension of uh, yesterday's rally. A move above 125.25 could open the way for uh, the 125.80 hurdle. As uh, for the broader picture, although we expect some more upside in the near term, as long as the rate uh, stays within the sideways range between 121 and 128.50, we consider the medium term outlook to be neutral. As for the bank, despite that market expectations uh, with regards to a hike may have uh, come forth, we are not convinced that such an action will occur in coming months. We believe that accelerating inflation is uh, indeed likely to lead uh, to more hoggish descents, but we don't expect a consensus for a hike, mainly because we consider it unlikely that the bank will rush into any policy move before the Brexit negotiating uh, la landscape uh, becomes clearer. This view is also amplified by Governor Carney, who indicated yesterday that the Bank of England should not overreact to a single data point, referring to the CPIs. Having said all uh, this, though, we think that uh, the decision of whether uh, to reduce Bank of England stimulus uh, will, ultimately will ultimately depend on how fast the UK inflation will accelerate in, in the coming months. A rapidly rising inflation rate is likely to overshadow, to overshadow political uh, considerations, uh, we believe. As for the rest of uh, today's highlights, during the European day, the economic calendar is uh, relatively light, with only second-tier indicators on the agenda. 
We get uh, Norway's uh, aqua unemployment rate and the Eurozone's current account balance, both for January. Neither of these is usually a major market mover. From the US, existing home sales for, for February are coming out. We have uh, one speaker, we also have one speaker on uh, today's agenda, ECB executive board member Sabine uh, Laudeschlager. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.